news, Master Splinter. All we know is it had something to do with the Twin Towers. What's that? Look! It's the towers! They're falling! Ah! Trade Center parking garage. How did you know? The gravel that I found in Man Spider's webbing. It still had the scent of gunpowder from that bomb explosion of years ago. Clever. I'm impressed. How weird is that? That's it. School night? Did I miss something? Is there a new world order? Hold still while we scan. Hey! Transactional scan matches no known dissident, subversive, or enemy of state on file. Eventually, they bring their new world order to all humans. Yeah, government tests its weapons there. Weapons? What kind of weapons? Oh, everything from two strains of bacteria to the weather dominator, I reckon. The weather dom? This money ain't no good! It's U.S. dollars! Absolutely worthless! While you were sleeping, everyone in the city was installed code. It was a brilliant idea by Dr. Cocteau that an organically bioengineered microchip be sewn into the skin. the eastern seaboard towards New York City. I killed a via pipe. Aware of how much computer graphics is used today, there's just a whole question now of what is real. Or remove the World Trade Center from the New York City skyline.
a day in New York City and colossal festo metri. Wow. Lost my train of thought here. But oh, hell. I done introduced him enough. So The horrific events of September 11th. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world. And no one will keep that light from shining. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. And we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring of for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, I implemented our government's emergency response plans. The President of the United States used this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, I think, only once, and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. A new world order. A new world order. A world with a rule of law. A world in which there is a very real prospect. 